Ooh, y'all, we about to get to see why Daryl and Michonne got them scars and a pregnant deny. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm scared. Ew. That was definitely Michonne slicing in half. I love her boots. Iconic. I know she going after, through it after she lost Rick. Is that the python? So that's how they found it. Denai looks gorgeous, pregnant, as expected. Hey, Daryl. Y'all just want to have a funeral. You good? No, she not good. This one's been kicking the shit out of me every morning at four. Oh, RJ. I can't sleep anyway, so. <laughs> Judith's been asking about you. Uncle Daryl? It's been a while since we've seen you back at Alexandria. I ain't gonna stop looking. We know! <laughs> you okay being alone? You? I'm not. Y'all gonna make me fucking cry. Nobody went through it more than Daryl and Michonne when they lost Rick. Oh, she cleaned it up real good. Oh, we missed the great Rick Grimes! I'm finna cry. They better stop doing this to me. Oh, Judith's box. Oh, look at RJ. Daryl's at the gate. And you didn't let him in? He's not alone. Cause he got Lydia. Michonne, that ass fat. I wouldn't have come. We had no other choice. Mm. What about her? He's with us. Trust Daryl. Yes, ma'am. Open it. How oh, we do anything for Daryl? Uh oh, flashback. Oh. One of them's hurt. Look at some equal husband, y'all. Oh my God. Michelle. Jocelyn. Don't the whispers use her hair? Them dreads. From. Did I just make that up? But we we don't see too many people with, with long dreads, y'all. So I don't know. Michonne got reunited with somebody while Rick was gone. This is this is too much. Oh uh, Connie, we love you. You're welcome. Keep an eye on the girl. <laughs> Come on it. Thanks, Laura. If your skin jobs are looking. Skin jobs? Find us soon enough. Skin jobs might be the best name yet. Tell me what you need. I need help. Help with what? This is one of the places Joss hit us. You out there pregnant girl? No. No. I don't approve. Craft and maneuver. Points for dexterity. <laughs> this is creepy. Michonne, I'm gonna need for you to put a bulletproof vest or something around the stomach. We know RJ made it and he's healthy and happy, but I'm still getting anxious. Mm -mm. I don't want no parts. Aw, kids. You got sewed up nice. Shout out to Sadiq. I like it. Your creepy ass would like I'll it. I forget what you did. Girl. Neither will I. We know. Henry, I need to speak to Lydia. Alone. Excuse you, Henry. I gotta move around and make sure these stitches hold anyways. At least you got your stick to use as a, uh, a crutch. I heard you let people go to the fair. I wanna say thank you. Shut up, you was gonna leave the kingdom. You care about him. Yeah, me too. She still look like a whisperer with that outfit on. I've done things to protect this place. Let us know what things. To save my people, I've had to risk others. Mm. Might be easier if the only life I had to risk was my own. Mm. And take all the risk with me. 
that wouldn't be so hard. Mm. Think about that. Michonne came over there, just put something on the man. That's all. <laughs> we love Denai. Oh, the Daryl and Judith talk. Yes. Am I okay? Uh-uh. Would you stay if my mom says it's okay? Really? I should keep moving. You just made me sad. Keeping you and RJ safe. In this place, that's, that's what's important. No, it isn't. I mean, not just us. I've heard the stories. But you don't know all the tea, Judith. We can do that again. Ooh, it ain't the same. You haven't heard all the stories. What would my dad do? That's what I thought. Such a smart ass. <laughs> Let's gather around the campfire and sing our campfire song. I don't eat meat, so that just like kind of creeped me out. Ew. I didn't realize how much we all needed this until now. Right? I wish he could see this. Rick would love it. Wherever he is, I'm sure you know. He's somewhere alive with Jadis. And whatever. Excuse me. I hope we get to see her going to labor. I need to see it all. We ain't seen nobody with a baby since Lori, and that was a long time ago. And you said your kids could hunt. Maybe a couple squirrels and a slingshot. Chops. Her kids got them animals? They take care of me. Her kids did that. Dean Turner said he needed a thousand signatures before he'd consider your petition. We showed up at his fancy ass Regents dinner with double that. That man was an asshole. And you can't live with that, can you? Jocelyn, she not gonna find Rick. I need to know. But you ain't gonna find him. He alive. She, so go find him, me. That's such a cute nickname. I am so glad that you are here. Y'all making me sad. I wanna know what happened. Yes! We love affection. Oh, I needed that hug. I miss Daryl and Michonne together. I needed that, y'all. Oh. Come on, dog. Love you, Norman. Stay safe, honey. You too, Connie. Judith Grimes, stop walking around here with an attitude. You don't know all the tea. Acting like you grown. Mm-mm. Uh-oh, flashback. Uh-oh. Another sleepover? The sewer. Yeah. Ain't nobody coming to the door. Something ain't right. Where everybody at? Judith! Marcus? The motherfuckers left the sewer. That's why the sewer was locked. They left through the sewer. Ain't that what happened? And that's why Michonne went out there acting crazy? Uh-uh. They took some food and left. The pantry ain't been that empty in a long time. What's going on? Judith! Michonne about to lose her mind. She's pregnant. We don't need the stress. The sewer was open. Mm-hmm. I knew it. That's why it's locked. Can I have more tomatoes, please? You sure can. Of course you can, baby. Don't poke. Sorry, Mom. Judith, that is a beautiful no, plate of produce. Wrap your food and put it away first, okay? Come yes. On. We don't waste anything. Thanks, Mom. It's all the eggs! We need to know! Judith? Uh-oh, you gonna tell her? Listen. She better be in her room. There's something that I want to tell you. Yes, go in. Go in there. Open the door. She not even in now. I fucking knew it. That little girl better not be outside the walls. Hey, Jeffrey! Has Judith been down here today? I'm just curious, or... Answer the damn question. Answer the, thank you. <laughs> what the hell does she talk to you about anyway? Everything. So now you're curious. For someone who wants to be helpful, you're doing a pretty shit job of it. Jeffrey can't never just give a straight answer. He no, gotta talk shit. Job. It's chit chat. Specifics. She likes hearing stories about her dad, Carl. So you feed her bullshit. She's just as much a badass as Carl was. Ah! She likes listening to me talk. You like hearing yourself talk. So we have that in common. <laughs> You shoot straight. He did. 
He do. Did you tell her what you did to Glenn? Oh, no, Steven! No! Yeah. She's heard those stories, too. Glenn! She hates that you're not letting new people in. Things should be like Carl thought they should be in the letter that he wrote to you. No, you don't get to talk to me about Carl. You came down here because you had no idea where she is. Mm-hmm. And she is not taking shit lying down. Judith is too grown for her own good, just like Carl going out there taking shit in her own hands. When am I going to get over Glenn's death is the question, because I'm just triggered every time. Steven! Oh, she took the python. Mom, I'm sorry, but I had to go get our friend. They need help. Judith, wait, who is she going to get? Does Judith not know she's a little girl? Uh-oh, flashback. Michonne pregnant and tired as hell looking for that little girl. Let's take a break. I know her back is on 10. Yes, yeah, sit on the swing. Out here, but you got a baby, you know? Mm-hmm. Daryl's right. Go sit on the swing. Oh, we love this. We'll find her. Sure will. Can't believe this. Me neither. She was a friend, like a real one. Mm. We went through everything together. Figuring out who we were gonna be. Now you ready to slice her in half? Losing my mom. Oh! That bitch is low down. I wanted her to be that again, you know? Wow. Thought you found your friend again. I needed it. Especially after Rick, too. You needed that. You couldn't have known. This is on her. It is. She'll pay. Yes, she will. Oh, hold her knee. Oh. Daryl and Michonne's relationship is just so there for each other. I love it. They're just like. I want to know how they going to find Judith now. I need to know what the fuck is going on. So that bitch took her kids and Judith and left. Like, what the fuck? I'm stressed out, even though we know she got you. Michelle will slice you in half. What? She's pregnant. She can't run that fast, fucker. Dara, run. I know she don't want to slice them kids in half, but honey, I ain't going to disagree with you because they're motherfuckers. Michelle? Me that they're safe. Oh. Oh. No, that dead. They did not just shoot Norman. Did they hit his shoulder? Where did that hit him? Michonne is pregnant. Are you fucking kidding me? And he just hit her like that? Michonne is fucking pre- Oh my- Lord have mercy. Oh, they got him tied up! Gonna get out, Daryl. Oh, they got Michonne tied up. She's pregnant. Little badass little boy. Fuck is you looking at? Bust her head open. Oh my goodness. Branded them. Oh, these motherfuckers. They branded them, that bitch. Go on, man. Be strong. They branded them. No one fucking cares. They can't be soft. Not now. What the fuck does it have? Not like us. We did nothing to you. We did nothing. We did all oh, they branded them. I'm finna cry. Oh, he got it hot from us. Don't let it control you. Mm-mm. This bitch is. We did nothing. Do y'all know how hot that is? 
Oh no, my back. No, not Michonne. No, y'all are no. I hope Michonne got to cut that bitch in two. In two. Is that Judith's bike? This little girl thinks she grown. My fucking back still hurt, Ken. I'm not over that branding. My fucking back hurts. Yes, Michonne. Mich I'm gonna say my name, Michonne. I mean, <laughs> find your daughter, honey. Uh uh, who getting choked? Uh oh, Daryl got loose some kind of way, of course. But Daryl got two exes. Was them his childhood webs? Oh, the meat! They got denied down to the white meat! All they did was go look for Judith. They didn't do anything. She's pregnant. All oh, they got denied down to the white meat! We need to go. Slice that bitch in two. Michonne, cut that bitch in two. Uh oh, that bitch got a sword. Watch the stomach! You kids, you know what's next, Linus? Mark our kill, kill our Mark. Help him. Let's go. I don't want to have to hurt you. Bitch, Michonne, kill that bitch! Fuck that little boy up! They didn't have no problem burning you! I'm not kidding Dan right now is because we know RJ is okay. He made it. <laughs> Michonne really let them get away? What the actual fuck? <laughs> Michonne is strong. They is beating her ass. Michonne, cut that bitch. Cut that bitch in two. Cut her hip. Yes, bitch. Branded her on her back, cut her fucking stomach, bust her in the head, bust her in the back. Like, she, they just beat Michonne ass. And Norman, where the fuck you at? Running through the building looking for people? Michonne, cut all them motherfuckers in two. They can all get this. They can all get this work. Fuck them. They can't come back with us. Fuck him up. Quit holding back, Michonne. They cut your stomach. They don't give a fuck about you. Get him. Michelle. Michelle, you gotta. Michelle, he a grown man. Wow. She had to kill them people and she tried not to. This might be Michelle's most fucked up montage yet. Norma, she didn't. She already didn't cut everybody up, Norma. This episode is heavy. When he gonna get this work too? Where the fuck is Judith? Judith! She better walk her ass out of there because I'm stressed out. She was so little. Mommy. Michonne thought she was gonna run out with a knife like, nah! We wasn't losing a little ass kicker. No, not on this day. Them they kids. See, I don't know them kids. Them the background kids. <laughs> Judith, get your little ass from out there. This little girl is a trip. Get your little ass back in Alexandria. I can't feel bad for you. You did it to yourself. You want to go out there and be grown. Just like Carl. Don't know what you're doing. Just gonna ride out there on the fucking bicycle. Yes, y'all need to talk. Gonna ride out there on the fucking bicycle like she grown. Bitch, where you going? You ain't a day over 11 years old. We ain't had a good a montage of Michonne mowing down walkers in a while. Like, it, it's, it's been a while. That was good, but... 
That's crazy. So what the fuck happened to Winnie? Where's that little boy at? That's crazy. You could have been living basically a regular life. You know, you still would have had to deal with the shit that's going on in the apocalypse, but you would have had a stable home. And you was friends with Michonne, like knew her, knew her. When she lost her fucking mama, you was there. The apocalypse really changes people. You gonna take her fucking kids with you to just go live whatever kind of fucking life y'all was living. It's too much in this episode. It's just, it's, it's too much. And then, and then let's just talk. And I gotta do a chit chat for this episode because this shit is too much. This is too much. Cause I'm talking right now while this commercial on, but I can go on all day. I'm gonna have to do a chit chat. Cause this, this, this shit, this is just too fucking much. Like Judith thinks she grown, and motherfuckers wonder why Michonne refuses to let her guard down. Cause if she do, this is what the fuck happens. You didn't look like you. Mm. Because of the blood, and I was happy you found me. Wow. You never said anything after that first year. It made you sad. It was fucking traumatizing. So, how the hell are we here right now? Exactly. Our friends need our help. It's not that simple. It really ain't. Yes, it is. No, it ain't, honey. You almost died for nothing. But when did we stop loving Carol? Oh! Maggie. Oh! Carol, the king. Stabbed me right in the heart. We didn't. Why does it feel that way? Michelle shut everybody out. The horse, you know, just eating peacefully. Uh oh, flashback. Huh, Daryl coming back. Fucked up. Don't nobody give a fuck about Michonne. Her fucking stomach's bleeding. Look at Eugene making calls. Damn, that was before Aaron got his fake arm. Your father and I dug this together. For Carl. But then your father was gone. And I was. Lost. Lost. Hey, I miss Chandler, y'all. Carl was my baby in the apocalypse. That was the only child I'd ever been attached to. This episode was heavy. Uh-oh, you going to the fair? It better not be no whisper of bullshit. Do you think it'll leave a scar? It's okay if it does. That'll be your first battle wound. Please, let's have a peaceful carriage ride to the fair. Is that Norman? <laughs> I know that back from anywhere. Anyone headed to kingdom? Need a ride? Henry, finally finna take his ass home. That, I love how that's a car that they made into, like, the ingenuity of these people. Them look like whispers. They walking too good. Yep, I knew it. Oh, fuck y'all. Quit looking at us. We must tell Alpha. Fuck Alpha. Why are they worried about our fair? Why are they worried about our people and what we doing? We have an affair. Y'all not fucking invited. Leave us alone. Ain't nobody bothering y'all. Can we please talk about how not even yellow her teeth look was? Like her fucking teeth were gray. Like that's disgusting. How do they even have teeth at this point? We must tell Alpha. 